everyone. Another quick unboxing for you. I had a surprise package once again. Uh, the people over at Paragon Sight and Sound, especially Chris and Rich, the, my, my salespeople, they have a tendency to be, to me, they kind of remind me like uh, of Scotty from Star Trek, where they under-promise and over-deliver. And I mean that in a very good way. And it's, and it's not that they under-promise. It's that they just tell you how it is. But I've been looking at this, the HANA ML moving coil cartridge, for quite a while. And I saved up a couple of bucks, decided to buy this, and I contacted Chris and said, okay, I'm ready. Can we go ahead and order it? And he says, I think we have one in stock. As it turns out, they didn't, and that's fine. He says, okay, call the store. I'm not there. We're going to go ahead and order it. We'll get it in. I called. They placed my order. Not even two hours later, he calls me back and says, hey, we have one in stock, which of course doesn't make sense. But what it is, is this sells so well that they keep a revolving stock of this particular cartridge. So... I'm super excited. I picked this up yesterday. Chris is coming over today uh, in about a half an hour, and we're going to set up my turntable with my brand new cartridge, and I am so excited to take a listen to this because I've heard amazing things not only from him, but the vinyl community at large, all the reviewers, they say, which is very cliche, but I don't mind, they say that this punch is well above its weight. So I'm pretty excited to find out what we've got. Uh, but in the meantime, I figured I would show all of you what we have as far as the packaging. It's a pretty standard basic black cardboard outer box and we do have an inner box as well that is hinged yes it is hinged and that's kind of interesting if you notice they have the so the box this is the top but the cartridge is mounted on the top as opposed to the bottom so that's kind of interesting the brass that they're using here let me see if i can get this out safely and easily is much shinier than I thought it would be. I quite like it though. This is a very attractive looking cartridge and I can kind of imagine it on my tone arm right now and I'm so excited. I'm glad that he's coming today because what's worse than buying a piece of equipment? I mean normally we just plug things right in but setting these up especially so the ML the M is actually for uh, micro, micro line and the L is the low output moving coil. They have a low and a high output. The high output of course you can use with a moving magnet preamp such as the, uh, well, the shit, the shit manual will cover both, but I find them to be more suited towards moving magnet uh, coils, or cartridges, rather. And the moving coils, the low output ones, you need to have more juice in your phono preamp to, to boost that signal, because it is such a low signal. It's very low. I think this is 0.4 millivolt. Very low. Of course, the EAT that I just picked up can handle that in spades, and that's why I'm so excited to finally upgrade, because that was the weak point, the chink in my armor, as it were, when it came to stereo equipment and wanting to review more, it was, I would have to say, my cartridge was was not, it's good. I have the, currently I have the Nagalka MP150. And if you're looking for a moving magnet and your budget is around $350, I think that's what they're selling for, I would recommend it highly. It's very nice. It's got a very robust sound. It tracks very well. It's smooth. There's nothing too biting in the top end. It has plenty of low-end response if you have the phono preamp and, the, of course, the amplifier to, you know, complement that. But this should be, much like getting the EAT, the, the phono preamp, this should be a huge step up for me. And I was talking with somebody via email, a professional at another sales place, and very friendly. They're great people. But... They kind of recommended not making such huge jumps. Going from the shit Manny to the EAT was not necessarily what they would normally recommend. And I thought about that, and I started to think, well, why would that be? Because making such a huge leap would be fun and exciting, I would think, for most people. This isn't one of those things where I think you need to pay your dues and earn your stripes as you slowly go up the ladder, spending thousands of dollars over the course of the years. If you can go from a $120 or $130 phono preamp and you can afford to get a $1,500 phono preamp, why not make the leap? If you find yourself in a position and you're driving a mid-90s Ford Tempo, but you suddenly have the money and you can buy a brand new F-150, why would you not want to do that? So, <clears throat> I digress, as I always do. Let's find out what is in here because we're still unboxing. It looks like, oh, we've got... Uh... You know what's ironic about this? And by this, I mean the, the, the brush right there. I just picked up a stylus brush, which is, I mean, it was nine bucks for MoFi, not a big deal, but it comes with the Allen key and it does come with the threaded screws. One of the things that I really like about this, if you notice, this right here, those are threaded and on the bottom, 
there are no nuts to screw on. The body itself is threaded, so at least threading this and mounting it on the tone arm will be much simpler than a lot of the other cartridges that you will come into. Now, I have heard that setting up the micro line is a royal pain, which is why I have invited Chris to do it, because he's been doing this for a very long time, and I trust him explicitly. But I'm so excited, and I want to know what you guys think about upgrading your cartridges. Would you happily go from something that was $300 to something? This was, uh, retail on this is $1,200. That's four times the price. If you were able to make that jump and you could afford it, would you just go ahead and go for it? Or do you feel like you should kind of step up as you go and learn the differences in the different cartridges? Because in the end, we're not here to prove anything to anyone. We're here to listen to music and enjoy our music and our record collection. And of course, in a channel like this, to share those experiences with other people. So my experience is I have a <clears throat> I have a $1,200 stylus cleaning brush, but I got a free cartridge to go along with it. So that's okay. And then here we've got the listing of all of the, the vertical tracking force on this is two grams. And there's a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to read off to you right now. Maybe I'll do this slowly and you can kind of pause it if you wanted to, to take a look at this. But I will have a review on this and I'm going to have to let it run in. Uh, the run in on this is probably 20 to 40 hours would be my guess. So in a couple of weeks, I will come back, which means I have now the Seavery Vaughn that's going to be coming soon. The phone preamp review coming soon and now this, but at least I have some content for you all. But yeah, do let me know in the comments. Would you make the jump? Thank you very much. I look forward to next time.